Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to change php.ini from a docker container. So let's start. So as you can see I already logged in a server. Uh, this is not a server, this is my uh, local computer. Uh, here I will run the docker app and I'll show you how you can change php.ini file. Uh, just not one time and not manually it will help you if you uh, run your app like a ci cd so you can follow this step for ci cd also so let me just show you the app here ls so it is a, a laravel and let me show you the first docker file so you can understand so i'm using php 7.4 okay now i'm updating installing all these things env tz for uh, change the time zone uh, i am from kolkata so that's why asia kolkata and then everything is copy the whole project into the app folder composer installing and giving some permission or permission and it's running on port 3000 so that's it here you cannot see anything like changing php.ini let me show you the twist okay now i am okay so uh, this is the same same app i am just running uh, here you can see it's running on port 3000 uh, for testing i also created a php info uh, page so as you can see here this is the php info so we will see it's changed or not here we can check like uh, let me find a display error uh, display error error display error here as you can see it's off or you can see the memory like uh, upload memory upload next uh, see it's a max upload max file size 2 MB so if you want to increase this 2 MB to up to uh, 2 GB or more than that so you need to uh, change the php.ini right so here we will see like first you need to uh, log in to this container like docker exec minus it and the container id copy it place it over here slash bin slash pass hit the enter and we are logged in into the container here you can type ls okay and go to cd user local maybe yeah etc yes php in this folder you can see some dot eni file is here this is the example eni file so what you have to do just uh, rename this php.ini file you can open it also you can open it but i'm not going to open it this php.ini first let me rename this php.ini file okay so the mb php.ini production and php.ini okay right enter so now as you can see production php.ini it's renamed php.ini okay now we need to uh, copy this php.ini file to our host computer okay so just exit from here okay and exit it now uh, like docker cp and the container id paste it colon and uh, copy this app Okay, now slash now php.ini 
and space dot things correct okay done by thing ls see the bp dot here so dot mean in the same directory okay so pwp as you can see i'm root in a php folder my current directory is root and php folder so i just copy this file okay so now you can uh, you can move this file to the another directory or you can put it here and now what i have to do just uh, right here you need to change this file vim php.ini enter just go to upload as you can see upload max size is 2 mb already i saw it now so i'm going to change it like 2048 okay escape save w2 save now just wrapper ps now stop this container for a moment copy it Stop. Let's it. Stopping right now. Now it now it stop. Sorry. Docker OPS. As you can, it's not running here. So now you have to type this command: Docker run minus dit minus v. Okay, the space this folder like where your uh, modify PHP INI file and colon uh, this folder okay slash PHP dot INI file. Uh, this mean whatever you change uh, this PHP INI file I mean the host PHP INI file it will reflect the container PHP INI file okay now okay I think I do need to no just okay run minus dit yeah I can do that okay now Just hold on. Let me find out the image Docker images. Okay. So here is the image. Image ID is. Okay. Hmm, first, run this one. Copy is test, and then minus p. Uh, 3000 for on 3000 and this one copy it paste it okay and uh, hit the enter I think everything is right docker ps okay let me check request request no it out next, next. see it's changed it's 2048 MB so that's how you can change or modify your PHP INI file okay so how you can uh, put this thing on uh, the ICD just uh, look there is uh, so many options on to run a CICD it is depend how you are uh, scripting your ci cd method and uh, whatever it is i mean how, there is so many options you know that right so just follow this instruction just create a, a path volume this is not a path this is b for a, it's a volume and create this volume and uh, locate the file that's it i think that's it now you can whatever change here it will affect over there like in the running uh, container let's see 
it's work or not i am going to change uh, php.ini file here let's see what happened uh, now i'm going to change mm, next file search is done post let increase the post max size okay by default it's 8 mb and a container is running as you can see i just uh, going to edit the host php.ini file and here let's find out the host uh, okay so here post is 8 mb by default let's change it let's like 20 Okay. Okay, it's changed now, and still container is running. Uh, let's refresh this page now. Refresh again. No. Next. Oh, it's same. So that's mean you need to restart the docker like docker uh, content copy here we restart first mm, it's taking time okay it's done now let's get this this ah now it's changed it's 2048 so so it's you cannot change in a running container yeah you can do but you need to uh, restart the container okay so that's it thanks for watching bye